A few weeks back, I had the opportunity to visit one of Canada's finest golf clubs, the Muskoka Bay Club, and I sat down with their golf director, TJ Alderdice. Golf Talk Canada on location, and boy, you could be at some worse spots with my friend TJ Alderdice, who's the golf director here at Muskoka Bay Club, a friend of Golf Talk Canada. Uh, thank you, first of all, for all the support Muskoka Bay gives us over the years on TV and radio, and uh, you could have way worse partnerships, as you can see here. This has been a great partnership for both, and we always love having you guys up here. Uh, uh, I pinch myself when I get to see this as my office on a daily basis. This is a good place. Uh, beyond us here, a, a lovely little fire pit, which is a gathering spot for, uh, for people after a round of golf in the evening. Overlooking the first hole here, there's an infinity pool off to our left which is just an absolute stunner and a popular spot. But TJ, uh, just the year, we were talking off camera about how it's been such a, a, a almost a little bit of a bizarre year because the weather's been so good up here yes. uh, that it, it's just, you know, rounds are obviously up because of it. But it's, you know, you haven't been dealing with things I guess you would normally deal with in, in a season in the Muskokas. It has been unique. I mean, we've just had an extremely hot summer and uh, with the extreme heat, brings a lot of Muskoka competition, like what I was talking to you about. Yeah. People want to be on the water and they've got boats and cottages that they need to enjoy as well. And so, although we've ex had an extremely busy season, um, you know, rounds are definitely up. It's just, there's a lot of competition in Muskoka when you get the beautiful sun shining every day. There's so much to do, the boating, the hiking, just outdoor lifestyle, uh, which you have a lot of here, right here at Muskoka Bay Club. Um, I always am shocked. I know we have this conversation all the time, but, you know, I'm a member of a golf club in Toronto. It's in great shape. We play a lot of great golf courses in Toronto that are in great shape. But I'm always shocked at how perfect the condition of Muskoka Bay Club is, considering, you know, where we are. There, winters can be tough up yeah. here. Springs can be tough. This place is, like, it's perfect all the time. It is. It gets uh, a lot of accolades for the course conditioning. And we, we, we brag about it and say that they are world-class course conditions. and. You two are around, you see it. Um, we just held our Pro-Am and Gar Hamilton, who played in the Pro-Am, and, and he grabbed the mic and said a few words, and he says they're the best greens that he knows of, uh, which is- and Coming from Gar, of, who's seen a lot of great greens. He's seen a lot of great greens, and so it's a, it's a huge compliment, and uh, it's something that we don't take lightly. lightly. We, uh, we strive on an annual basis to maintain these world-class conditions and, and see every year how we can get better. Uh, speaking of the Pro-Am, uh, who, who walked away with the win? Did you win your own Pro-Am? I wish I could say we won. <laughs> but we did have a host professional that won, Jacqueline Miller, our new head professional. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. She was a joint winner in a slightly rain-shortened event on Tuesday. She doesn't know it's bad form to win your own event. I she know. She, she, I've <laughs> Jacqueline. Her that. Jacqueline. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yes, so she shared the uh, podium spot with Brad Kerfoot, actually, okay. and we had uh, 30 professionals come and play. Uh, in a 120 person event and we raised some great money for some local charities uh, hosted a great day at the club and it's just a win for everybody uh, now obviously there's a lot of real estate opportunities in Muskoka Bay it's always been kind of part of the offering uh, many different uh, options when it comes to where you'd like to either you know lay your head permanently uh, but also stay and play we'll get to the stay and play in a second because I know we're coming into the fall season I don't know if there's more of a beautiful time to come to Muskoka Bay than the fall with the colors is, is just off the charts but before we get there though on my way in this morning and I knew this was coming because you and I have talked about this when, when yes. we hosted radio here last year we spoke about this we knew yeah. that this large uh, condo uh, development was coming yeah. and I couldn't believe when I drove in this morning the, the amount of rock you blasted through to what is going to be a five-story building how many units are That's we right. talking 62 units in phase one of this building lining the 18th fairway every unit will have a view of the golf course with balcony. So it's a unique design, it's really cool, it fits so nicely on that property. This is a, a true weekend crash pad for people in Perfect. Muskoka. So they have a small piece of Muskoka with access to the golf course. And the units are gonna service a, a great deal of our stay and play revenue, or yeah. sorry, our inventory. Inventory. So uh, we have a growing stay and play program. The demand is there, we need inventory. This building is gonna be a, a game changer for us. Uh, now, you said uh, stay and play. You mentioned it there. Fall's the best time uh, in terms of uh, just the colors. It's beautiful up here. Uh, I love coming up here in the fall. Yep. Uh, there's going to obviously be a stay and play offering for the fall for people who haven't uh, been up to Muskoka Bay. Yeah, historically we've always run a program for the fall 
uh, to drive traffic up here because it is so beautiful. So we'll do the same again this year. Look for that one and it's uh, call the club and, and register right through our stay and play program and we'll have some great fall rates for everybody. TJ, thanks so much for your time. You thanks it. for having me up. Thanks for your support with Golf Talk Canada. If you, had, if you haven't been to Muskoka Bay Club, you need to get up here. The fall's a great time. If you have been, then you know what I'm talking about, and uh, there's no reason to not come up uh, sooner than later and, and maybe try one of those fall packages. Check it out. Uh, unfortunately, we've got to go back to the studio at some point, so let's head back in there now.